Boy, do I have a treat for you today. Stay tuned. So what I've got for you here is the 2024 Nissan Frontier. This is the King Cab with the four-wheel drive. This is the bare bones S trim. As you can see, you've got halogen headlights here. I still think it looks really good. And this sort of plain Jane grill. You do get tow hooks on this one. I one tow hook. I don't know why they don't just put two on there. Looks a little silly with just one, but I get it. You know, right home about or any of that. We'll try to get in there a little better here in a second. But what I wanted to show you is more this this setup here. You do have a nice six foot bed, which is awesome. I've got the same over there on the Ranger, and I can tell you, way more functional than a five foot bed or a like four and a half foot one like you get with the Maverick. This one is equipped with the all wheel, uh, four wheel drive, sorry. You do have a high low transfer case here. This is on the old architecture that has been around since I believe 2005. This frame is tried and true. This is just a really, really solid setup. If I had a company or something like that and I was looking for a work truck, this would be it. I would pick this over the competition, that's for sure. But there's one problem with this one, man. It's just crazy expensive. So what do you get for the money here? You have a 3.8 liter making 310 horsepower, kind of a low amount of torque, 281 foot pounds, which, you know, is kind of uh, pretty low for the segment. But you do get the eight inch uh, touchscreen display, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that good stuff. Uh, you do have a tilt steering wheel, but these are manual adjustable seats, and you do have automatic uh, high beams, so they call that the intelligent auto headlights. Works really good. This one is equipped with the skid plate and the out the door price tag on this bad boy is $35,605 for a king cab you know bare bones truck that's pretty expensive you know what i mean like i don't know what do you think the difference is on this crew cab see the bed though you got that freaking short bed all right thirty-seven thousand eight hundred and sixty five dollars this one has a few more options on it but uh basically you're looking at you know a couple of grand difference probably in most cases you're never going to get it configured like the bare bones cheapest one that you can possibly get unless you order it the manufacturers they just don't produce those very much and over here i think that this is probably one of my favorite setups this red looks really really good in the sv trim i don't know if it's just it's understyled it doesn't have any of the crazy stuff like the pro 4x going on you know graphics and everything like that so it just really kind of speaks in my opinion now if you get the base trim you know with with nothing going on this sv 4x4 36,670 dollars it's not terrible but this one does have the premium package it has the technology package it's got the sv convenience package and out after destination you're looking at forty four thousand seven hundred and forty dollars that is a lot of money for an sv trim in my opinion because the resale is not going to be as good as its brother right next door here and i don't know man i i would be trying to get some serious dough off of this but yeah 44,000 it does have a skid plate it does have a skid plate it does have you know the tow hooks and everything like that I don't know if I don't believe that this has a rear locker differential uh, I'll have to take a look but I don't know I don't think that that is an option in the SV trim please correct me in the comments if uh, if I'm wrong on that but yeah, I don't think that you get the actual rear locker here. You got to step it up to what we have right here with the 
Pro 4X. And let, let's uh, take another step back and just look at pretty, like how sweet this truck looks. Just a beautiful color here. And an overall really good looking truck. My one gripe with the Pro 4X is that it needs like a one inch lift. It did it, it, at least a leveling kit, you know, up front, lift her up about an inch or so. So you can see it just, it looks like it's the wheel wells just about to hit the tire. And you're supposed to take that off road and, you know, hit the rocks and everything like that. You're just going to be smacking the whole time. I don't know what they were thinking on that. You know, they could have just easily put a, a lift in it. It wouldn't have affected anything. The cool thing that they do give you on the Pro 4X is these removable steps. So you basically got rock rails that are functional, unlike the vast majority of rock rails that are just ridiculous and you can't use them and you end up smacking your shins all to hell on it and everything. So let's take a look at what we got on the inside here. This one looks like it's got the, uh, yeah, this has the cloth seats. It doesn't really have much going on and hopefully that reflects in the price tag let's see i do like the front here though man this looks really good from the front check that out with the color accents and everything i just i love the way the frontier looks it's just that whole lift thing right there got the pretty cool headlights and let's go see what the damage is not that bad so you can see that this one is pretty bare bones you do get a lot of standard equipment here um, i'm not going to give you story time here but you guys can kind of slow it down or freeze frame on this if you want to read it i'll try to get the copy and maybe put it up on the screen but not terrible you know 39,300. That's that's understandable for a Pro 4X in my opinion. This one doesn't have a lot of options. Electronic locking tailgate, off-road protection package. You know, that's just kind of a scuff protectors, medical kit, um, mud like the uh, floor mats and everything like that. It's just kind of kind of silly. You can buy all that stuff for dirt cheap. So I would just leave it at the 39,300. So after destination, you're looking at $43,105. Um, that's, that's not terrible in my opinion. And what is this color again? So let me see the, the color. I hate how they always hide that on these things, especially Nissan's really bad about that. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't even see the actual color on here. I'll have to, to look it up. I know it. Oh, there we go. It is the boulder gray. That's what they call it. And the charcoal cloth right here. So yeah, there you go, folks. Uh, which one would you pick? Would you go with the Pro 4X, the SV trim, or the S trim? I think that for my lifestyle I would just go with the SV I think that that would probably fit me the most because you know I live near the beach and stuff like that I don't go off-road I'm not close to the mountains or anything like that so the Pro 4X wouldn't really make a lot of sense for me but I would like it because it does have you know it's just a cooler looking truck and it's got better resale value and all that good stuff but I don't know. I think that the SV in this red color is pretty awesome. Or if you're just going for a simple work truck, you got your nice S trims down there. Overall, Nissan Frontier, a fantastic pickup. I think that it's really underrated and their sales are suffering to, you know, this last year. So I think that you could end up getting yourself a pretty good deal on a Nissan Frontier. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.